Karen isn't really as forgetful as her mother thinks she is. She just has a lot of things on her mind. Today she's excited because her class is going on a special trip. What Karen doesn't realize is that daydreaming can be very dangerous. If Karen doesn't think of her safety rules when she needs them, she may never get to school. Like most people, Karen thought she could stop on a dime if she needed to. Actually, it always takes some distance to stop, as these police officers will show you. Of a horn is indicating to you someone has made an error or forgotten one of their safety rules. Two people are measuring. A person who's person walking who takes one meter to stop. One meter. Boy, she was in a hurry. Okay, for the next runner here, we have John Lee. John, okay, let's see how fast you can run, John. All the way down through. At the sound of the horn, he stopped. Attempted to stop, it doesn't stop right away because it takes a little distance to come to a complete stop when you are running. Now they have the people measuring, measuring the distance on the surface of a road. Here comes my messenger with that distance. Six meters is six feet. You heard that distance, the distance. Six times, six times the distance that it took for a walker to stop. That's the reason why we have accidents running. You do not run across a road when you walk. Is that Andrew? Okay, Andrew. Well, you come down through. Let's wait a go. There we are. Don't move. Stand in one spot there, Andrew. That's right. After we uh, have you stop, we have to know what the distance is. Distance it takes you to stop when you're just traveling along nice and easy on the roadway. Now we have the people measuring. Two meters. And measures our messenger with our message. Two meters. Two meters to stop. That was at a nice easy pace, but I don't see skateboard persons traveling that slow when they're traveling along. She's riding along just as like as if she was out for a nice ride in a Sunday afternoon, riding down the road. <laughs> But the sound of the horn, the sound of the horn telling her that uh, a safety rule has been forgotten. Some car driver noticed there was a safety rule. Now we have some people measuring, measuring the distance it took for that person to stop. Now let's find out what that distance was. Four millimeters, ten. Four meters, ten centimeters. Very good. Sometimes you see these fast people moving along the roadway. This person must stop. If you're walking or running or riding a bicycle, the street is always dangerous. A car moving at 50 kilometers per hour can easily surprise you. And you may not always be able to stop in time to keep out of its way. Yes, what's that distance? Eight meters. Eight meters. Well, here comes the car down the roadway. As you can see, this car was traveling fast. Even a slow-moving car takes 10 meters to stop. The driver slammed on the brakes the moment he saw the cone, and still he couldn't stop without hitting it. Measuring a distance, the same as a police officer would do when he attends to an accident scene. Measures the distance from where he finds skid marks on the roadway. Here we freeze the action at the point when both the driver and the pedestrian see each other and begin to slow down. The pedestrian, who is running slowly, will need three meters to stop. The car will take ten meters to stop. As you can see, the two lines touch. This means the car must hit the pedestrian. This is how it happens.
One of the safest ways to cross a street is to use a crosswalk. Always point and wait for all the cars to stop for you. Then walk across the street. Sometimes it's very difficult for a driver to see people who are on the sidewalk because of the parked cars, especially if the sun is reflecting off the windows. This driver was surprised when a pedestrian suddenly ran out into the middle of the road. Hey, watch it, will you? Karen was lucky this time. The car was driving slowly enough to stop before hitting her. Remember, when you're about to cross a street, even at a crosswalk or a traffic signal, you should check to see that there are no oncoming cars. Then you can cross the street safely.